No, 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 no. Well, this was a wild week. I mean, a really, really wild week. You know, one of those weeks when absolutely nothing wants to work according to your plan. This week, there are two very important events that I want to participate. First, there... Come on. <laughs> First, there is an animal expo in Opole, which I really want to attend. And secondly, there is a movie version of a book that I fell in love with 15 years ago. But before I could attend those very important points, there were some important things that I needed to do in my animal collection. I needed to feed everything, water everything and rehouse some spiders because some of them really needs to be rehoused. So I got to work, started to record everything. Yes, there is a lot of work ahead today. All of those spiders needs to be fed, watered and a lot of them needs to be rehoused. And nothing really amazing happened besides the occasional showing of a beautiful tarantula. A very underrated Psalmopeus reduncus. So here we have the Psalmopeus cambridgi and to be honest they gathered quite a bit of size. Here's my Avicularia variegata. Decent size. This little guy here is an Avicularia avicularia, so the original bird spider. From this name comes the word bird spider. And as you can see, they are very colorful as juveniles. They are changing their colors when they are getting closer and closer to adulthood. <laughs> awesome. Some tarantulas behave pretty well and there is awesome feeding footage from that. Very nice. And even some stinging action. Okay, those definitely need to be rehoused. We have two Holotella longipes. I have a catch cup ready. Easy as pie. There we go. Good job. And we even have a small, tiny mold here. One more mold and this one will go into a different enclosure. This is a Hapalopus formosus columbia gross. There. Hilobrachis kenkrahan. A lot of spiders, for example, my Psalmopeus ecclesiasticus, my Iberapora, Soletama, they weren't really interested in being fed or show themselves. Next tarantula on the list here is a Psalmopeus ecclesiasticus. So let's see if we can lure the spider out. I already located it, so maybe, just maybe. There is the mat guy or girl but at least we know that the spider is doing well and that the spider grows in this enclosure here we have an iberapora soretama and i only have one of those species they are pretty expensive here but maybe in the future when we are a bit lucky this will be a female maybe we will have a breeding project who knows Oh well, the spider's not interested. So I needed a backup plan. 
really fast. The fact that a lot of spiders like my Ciriopagopus hati hati or my Tapinaohenius plumipes were hiding wasn't helpful either. But then came the idea, I still had the male Psamopeus pulcher that I got for my female, which recently molted and she was fed very well. So without any hesitation, I took out the enclosure, prepared everything, pressed record and then this happened. No, 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 no. I thought that he was a goner. I immediately took out the flashlight from my cell phone and checked if everything was okay. And despite the odds, he was inside the enclosure and he was trying to do his job. He was trying to pair for three times. And because everything happened behind a curtain of webbing and dirt, I am not really sure if he hit the target. After the mating he ran out of the enclosure, he got spooked by something and then I had an epic chase across the whole room. So here's the male, I was just chasing him across the whole room. I'm not sure if he was able to do his job but yeah, fingers crossed. Those psalmopeus are very bolty. So after that somehow successful, somehow unsuccessful pairing, I went back to feeding, counting that something interesting will happen. Typical Sparacide Heteropoda David Bowie. The legs are built in such a way that they can squeeze in practically every nook and cranny. And eventually it happened. Whoa! And I'm not gonna lie, this was a long and painful search. I was looking for this guy for quite some time and I almost thought that I lost him, but look where he was hiding. Right here. <laughs> Amazing creatures. Let's give him a name. I will call him Bolt. So if you are a fan of Harry Potter and you know Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, this is the creature that Alastair Moody was enlarging and showing the three cursed spells, the three unforgivable spells. This is a tailless whip scorpion. Look how amazing they look. I think since this is the only one in my collection, we can give this guy a name, so let's call him Moody. <laughs> this spider is also pretty camera shy, but what amazes me is that you can already see those big tarantula eyes, because this is a true tarantula. Ah yes, this will be fun. Here we have a Cupienio Salei. This one is a bit more stubborn. Okay. Well, those are the pitfalls of creating something about animals in vloggish form. Sometimes things doesn't go according to plan, but for myself it is very important to show every one of you what is happening here even if sometimes things aren't as exciting as anticipated but what really excites me is one of the projects that will happen really soon maybe even next week in this tarantula room probably my biggest project so far one of those big enclosures behind me is changing and it will be the home of a species from yemen some of you already know what the third probably part of this series. I'm so excited. I'm really curious how this enclosure will look in the end. So for this week's conclusion, sometimes necessary things need to be done even under extreme time pressure. If you like what you saw and don't want to miss this big project to happen, consider subscribing, ring the bell, leave a comment what you like, what you want to see in future videos and as always, 
Thank you for watching. Toronto Hall out.